Hi, it's your boy Frenchy, and these are my favourite album covers of 2017. I barely qualify as a music critic, so God knows why I'm trying to be an art critic now, but whatever, here we go. Ooh, much psychedelic, many cosmic. This album by Wonderwall is called Lost in a Sea of Trees and that album cover perfectly sums up that feeling. Such a lonely, isolated, nightmarish vision there. Really like the way, you know, the composition with the, the figure in dead centre and just all these trees closing in on you. Very claustrophobic and lonely. Really like it. Something about this is just really cute and heartfelt, I found. I love the way they're sitting next to each other, their guitars crossing, their feet are touching, and just the little touches like the way how the names are written on the opposite sides. I don't know, it's just a really beautiful photograph. Uh, the vinyl edition's even better because you see where the split down the middle is, that actually opens up. So it's a really cool one. I'm definitely gonna have to pick that up on vinyl. Yeah, just a beautiful image. Wow, looks like Namesh just dropped the best Commodore 64 game of the year. I don't know why, but I work in a record store and my eyes always drawn to this album sleeve when I see it. Such a beautiful photograph, the windswept hair, her hair sort of covers up her eyes there. Looks like the eyes are closed, but it's left slightly ambiguous. The use of black and white hair is uh, fantastic, and the use of tone and shade is just spot on. Absolutely like a priceless photo there, like amazing composition there. Lovely, lovely album sleeve. God damn, this is freaking epic. This is such a beautiful painting. This album actually got released just a week after uh, we had an actual eclipse in Britain as well. Not only is this a delicately painted album sleeve, but I feel like it just captures the, the music and the atmosphere and the world that Solstafir have tried to imagine with their music on this album. It's absolutely gorgeous uh, pairing of art and music. Yeah, really, really good. Another jaw-dropping album sleeve from Elder. It managed to capture like how much colour and just the massive scope of this album really well. I even think that the use of the border and the font at the top actually adds to this album. I was thinking like, oh, maybe it'd be better with just just the image uh, below, but I think actually, I actually really like uh, that composition. Definitely, definitely sums up the music on this album. Uh, yeah, love it. Wow, this is absolutely breathtaking. This is the kind of album sleeve or painting that you would find in a, an art gallery and just want to stare at for ages. So many like fine little details in here. It's got such a wide scope and the actual concept of the album, not only is it about a reaper in the afterlife looking for a mirror, I feel like it really, really sums up the lyrical theme of the album really well. Exactly why physical media CD and vinyl will always be better than digital because you can hold that in your hand. And now for my favourite album sleeve of the year. Before I'd even heard of this band, I actually saw the image crop up on like a list of like forthcoming albums to look out for. I saw this album sleeve and I just thought, damn, I, I have to own this on vinyl. I don't care what it sounds like. I absolutely love that artwork so much. So I went and checked out the band almost immediately and uh, Helpless turned out to be an incredible grindcore band, sort of grindcore, hardcore, a little bit noisy. It was really, really good. So I was like, yes, I have to get this. I was fortunate enough to catch the band live and 
Uh, I bought the vinyl from them directly, released on the amazing Holy Raw Records as well. It reminds me of a very much of a Francis Bacon painting. It's like staring into this tortured, nightmarish, obscured face of a tortured soul. It's not often I see an album cover so good where I'm like, damn, I have to see, I have to see what that looks like uh, in my actual hands holding it and definitely my album cover of the year, like, yeah. Shows you how important album art is because this made me want to listen to this band. That It was so good. Props to Helpless. Uh, great band. Check them out, especially if you love uh, extreme hardcore grindcore music. What a stunning package. Well, I hope you enjoyed my picks for best album covers of 2017. Uh, let us know in the comments what, what you thought of my choices. What were your favourite album covers? Please like and subscribe and there'll be more content on the way. Thank you.